Four questions to ask to know if being an entrepreneur is for you. In this presentation, you will learn the four questions to ask yourself to know whether being an entrepreneur is right for you or not. First, do you like to work for yourself and not for someone else? Being an entrepreneur usually means you being your own boss and operating a company or business that you own and you control. Therefore, there is no boss to answer to, and there is no company where someone else is making the profits. You are. Second, do you like to set your own hours to do what you want to do and not have them set for you? When you are an entrepreneur, you are not set by the standard 8 to 4, 9 to 5, or 10 to 6 hours most people work. In fact, you can choose to set the hours you work in most cases. If you want to work early in the morning, in the afternoon to evening, or even in the wee hours past midnight, you can usually do so. You set the hours based on the hours you choose to work and are most comfortable with, along with the likeliest times your potential customers are coming to you. Third, do you like to face new challenges and not to do the same routine day after day? In a typical occupation, you will do the same mundane tasks day after day in order to fulfill the job you are hired to do. But as an entrepreneur, you often have to learn new skills to handle the challenges that face you. If you are an online marketer, this can include email marketing, social media marketing, website creation, data analytics, and more. Fourth, do you like to be in control of your own fate and not rely on a set salary? When you are in a typical occupation, you work for someone else and receive a set salary based on your skills and or experience and the occupation's going rate for skilled workers in that field. When you are an entrepreneur, you own your own business and get paid based upon the sales you make and whatever profits are left after expenses are accounted for. There is no set salary. If you have a poor week, you make less profit than if you have a good week. Now you know the four questions to ask yourself to know whether being an entrepreneur is right for you or not. Four questions to ask to know if you need a new occupation to be happy. In this tutorial, you will learn of the four questions you need to ask yourself in order to know whether you need a new occupation to be happy or not. First, do you get distracted easily while you work? If you do, this could be a sign that you need another line of work in order to remain focused and be happy. You may be getting distracted because this line of work doesn't hold the same level of interest and intrigue it once did. Second, do you lose interest and let your mind wander? If you're constantly losing focus on the task at hand, you may have lost interest in this line of work and need a new occupation to have sufficient interest to do your best work in a timely manner. If your mind is constantly turning away from the task at hand and thinking about family and friends, destinations you want to visit, activities you want to do, movies and television shows you have seen, etc., you may not be as interested in the line of work you are currently doing and need a change in your occupation in order to be as happy and as productive as you can be. Third, are you uneager to do the work that you need to do? If you no longer look forward to doing the work you need to do, you will procrastinate and take longer to do that work. This will lead to you being unhappy and seeing your occupation as more of a chore than something you actually enjoy doing. Many experts say that if you don't enjoy the work that you do, you will have a harder time doing it and will be unhappy doing it, leading to more stress in your life and on your health. Fourth, would you rather be doing something else? If you are constantly thinking about another line of work or another subject while attempting to do your current work, you may want to look into doing another line of work. You may be happier and more productive if you went into another line of work, rather than attempting to push yourself day after day doing the work you are currently doing. Now you know the four questions to ask to know if you need a new occupation to be happy or not. Top three ways to keep pressure from getting to you. In this presentation, you will learn of the top three ways to keep pressure from getting to you. First, you want to start projects on time, or even earlier if possible. Many people will not start promptly on projects. 
As a result, they have to rush their work in order to get themselves back on schedule, which results in added pressure. By starting the project on time, or even earlier, they can avoid having to rush and the added pressure that goes along with it. Second, you need to work diligently throughout the project, only focusing on the task that you are currently working on. Many people will divert their attention between what they are currently working on and what lies ahead. While considering potential problems and preparing ahead of time can be helpful, too many people will let themselves get distracted by potential problems that may be encountered at later stages, preventing them from focusing on the current task and completing it as well as possible in the shortest amount of time possible. In addition, many people will allow their minds to wander while working on a current task, including thinking about family or friends, and thinking about what they want to do when they get home, or what they want to do this weekend. This also takes away one's focus from completing the current task as well as possible in the shortest amount of time possible. It is vital to focus all of your energy on completing the current task in order to get it done well in the shortest amount of time possible. Third, you need to stay on top of things and do the best work you can. You need to pay attention to how much time you have to complete a project and not devote too much time to any one particular task. The project itself will not turn out as well if you devote too much time to one task and take away time from another task, either resulting in you doing poor work or taking more time than is expected or allowed. Do the best work you can in a set amount of time for each stage of the project. Then, Move on to the next stage of the project. Now you know the top three ways to keep pressure from getting to you. The five secrets of why you procrastinate. In this tutorial, you will learn the five secrets of why you procrastinate. First, you doubt your own abilities of doing the project well. Many people will question their abilities of doing a project or task well, especially if they do that project or task quickly. They think they have to slow down to ensure that the highest quality work is done. But this is simply not the case. You can complete high quality work quickly if you believe in your own abilities to do high quality work quickly. Second, there is not enough challenge or interest in the work you are doing. As a result, you procrastinate and take forever to do the work that can be done much quicker. If your mind continues to wander toward other things while working, such as what you will do when you get home after work, or what you will do this weekend, chances are high that the work is not offering enough challenge or interest to keep your mind focused on it. Third, some other matter or subject is diverting your attention away from your work. It could be a matter or a situation involving your family or relationship, a sick relative or friend, a bill that is about to be due, or something of this nature. This can cause your mind to not be focused on your work, which is critical for you to do your best quality work in the shortest amount of time possible. Fourth, you like the pressure of everything piling up on you at once. You may be the type of person that likes the thrill or pressure of everything coming at you at once, which is why you procrastinate in getting your work completed in a timely fashion. When time runs short and you still have much left to do, you feel more excited and or more focused on completing the work. The main problem with this is you have to rush to complete the work in the time allotted, which can detract from the quality of work you do. Fifth, you feel that you should put your maximum or only effort into your work and nothing else in your life. You may be the type of person who feels that everything should go into your work, but not into your personal life, relationships, relaxation, and other activities. As a result, you slow down and meticulously put everything into the project you're working on. While you may achieve high-quality work in the time allotted for a project, you're depriving yourself of other achievements and goals in your life, and it would be possible to achieve them if you sped up your work, which could still be done at a high, acceptable rate of quality. Now you know the five secrets of why you procrastinate. How to do your best work quickly. In this presentation, I will show you how you can do your best work quickly. First, 
you need to focus on the end result. This means that you need to focus on the completion of the task at hand. Don't worry about future steps that you're not currently working on. Thinking about future steps doesn't help you to accomplish them. Plus, it takes away your focus from doing your best work in completing the current steps now. Focusing on the end result also means keeping your mind on the current task and not on problems at home or leisurely activities you'd like to be doing. Again, you will not be as focused to do your best work in the shortest amount of time possible, leading to more mistakes and taking longer to complete the task than is needed. Second, don't worry about being perfect with the task you are doing. Too many people start thinking that they have to be perfect with their work, which slows them down and leads to tasks taking longer to complete than what is actually needed to accomplish them at a high level. You want to do good work, but you also want to be efficient, as most bosses and clients want good work, but they want you to be timely as well. If you do great work, but it takes forever for you to accomplish that great work, people will likely not hire you because they value efficiency as well as performance, especially in a day and age when speed greatly matters. Most people don't like waiting around for information when they can access that information in the blink of an eye on their smartphones. They won't tolerate taking a long time to receive work that is only marginally better at best than good work that is done quicker. Third, focus on getting the work done as best as you can first, then go back and revise as needed. Too many people try to write content and edit it at the same time, often leading them to lose their train of thought and take longer to create great content. If you worry about getting the content down first, then revising it later as needed, you'll be less likely to lose your thought process and more likely to complete great work in less time. Now you know how to do your best work quickly. How to remain happy even when busy with work. In this tutorial, you will learn how to remain happy even when busy with work. First, you must stay calm throughout the project you are working on. You should never panic and worry about how things will turn out. Worrying about something doesn't mean you're doing anything. In fact, you're taking energy and focus away from the actual task at hand, which will lead to you doing lower quality work. Second, you need to be confident in your own abilities. Too many people start questioning their abilities, especially if they complete a task quickly. They start doubting whether they put enough effort into their work. As a result, they'll start slowing themselves down on purpose, thinking they're doing higher quality work because they're taking their time to do it, when this is not the case. Being confident in your own abilities will ensure that you are doing high quality work in the shortest amount of time possible. Third, think of how you will feel and the rewards you will get once you have finished the project or task at hand. You will feel a sense of relief and satisfaction once you have completed that project or task, which is all the more reason why you want to complete it as well and as quickly as possible. In addition, you will be able to spend your time with people you want to spend time with, such as family and or friends, and doing things you want to be doing, such as leisurely activities, once you have the project or task completed, which should reinforce your desire to complete it as well and as quickly as possible. Fourth, you should take regular breaks and not overwork yourself to exhaustion. People get flustered and even angry when they have to rush through something or have to work continuously in order to meet deadlines. They are not able to take their time and pace themselves through a project when they have to rush through it or work non-stop until they have it completed. If you work at a solid pace and stay focused throughout, you can take regular breaks that will allow you to remain calm and happy throughout the entire project, which will lead to you completing your best work in the shortest amount of time possible. Now you know how to remain happy even when you are busy with work. Top 5 Ways to Avoid Procrastination In this presentation, I will show you the top 5 ways to avoid procrastination. First, you need to think highly of your own abilities. Too often, many people will doubt or question their own abilities, 
and their capacity to get things done in a timely manner. They question this, and they question that, thinking that what they are doing is not good enough. You need to convince yourself that you are knowledgeable in what you are doing, that other people believe in you enough to come to you for doing the task at hand. Therefore, you need to have confidence in your own abilities. This will greatly help to speed up the work you are doing. Second, you need to know that you can get things done quickly and still do quality work. Many people will doubt that they can quickly do something and still do quality work. That's why they procrastinate in getting things done. You need to convince yourself that just because you do something quickly doesn't mean it's low-quality work. You can get things done quickly and do high-quality work. Third, you need to work diligently and focus only on your work. When you are working on a task or project, you need to keep your mind focused on the task at hand and not let your mind wander. Don't think about future steps of the project or any family issues or problems that may be going on at home. You need to put your mind squarely on the task at hand and put your best effort and skill into that and that alone. Fourth, you need to start projects on time or earlier if possible. Don't be waiting until late in the time period you have to complete a project to get started on it. It does you no good to procrastinate on a project. In fact, procrastination will likely lead to a decline in your work quality because you will have to rush your work to meet the deadline where it's likelier mistakes and errors will show up in your work. Fifth, Challenge yourself to get things done as quickly as possible. In fact, make it into a type of game. See how quickly you can get things done while still producing high-quality work. By turning it into a game or challenge for yourself, you will likely surprise yourself by how quickly you can produce high-quality work. You now know the top five ways to avoid procrastination. The Five Secrets to Overcome Procrastination in this tutorial, you will learn the five secrets to overcome procrastination. First, know that procrastination will only make the work take longer. Procrastination does not help to make your work better. It only helps to prolong the amount of time it takes to complete it. While doing good work can take an appropriate amount of time, it doesn't mean that the work must take longer than is necessary for it to be done well. Second. Know that procrastination will only make you work harder. This is because you will fall behind the intended schedule you were supposed to follow in order to complete all the tasks necessary to finish a project. If you take more time than is expected to finish a task, you will have to work harder and faster to complete the other tasks necessary to finish a project on time. This can often lead to more mistakes being made to make up for the shortened amount of time in order to finish a project on time. Or, procrastination can lead to you working past the deadline and submitting a project late if you can't rush your work to finish on time. Third, know that procrastination will keep you from enjoying other activities. If you take longer than is needed to finish the work you need to finish, it will result in less time for you to relax, enjoy leisurely activities, spend time with loved ones, and more. You'll have to spend some of that time to make up for the procrastination of your work. Fourth, know that procrastination will not improve the quality of your work. Many people think that taking longer on a project will improve the quality. Taking the appropriate amount of time to finish a project is necessary, but taking longer because you doubt your abilities or let your mind wander away from your work will only lead to you taking longer to complete the work without improving the quality of it. Fifth, know that you can work fast and still produce quality work. You do not have to take longer than is needed to produce quality work. If you are skilled at the task you have to complete, you may find that you can complete it quicker than people expect and still produce that work at a high quality. Now you know the five secrets to overcome procrastination. The five secrets of getting things done promptly. In this tutorial, 
I will teach you the five secrets of how to get things done promptly. First, start your project early, either on the first day of the project period or even earlier if possible. Many people get into trouble because they procrastinate and wait beyond the first day to get started. This often leads to poorer quality work and frayed nerves because many people tend to wait and not get off to a good start. Start promptly. Second, you need to work diligently each day. Don't think you can take it easy if you get off to a good start. You need to focus and put as much effort into each day's work in order to do your highest quality work in the least amount of time possible. Third, you need to focus on the task at hand and only on the task at hand. Don't think about a step later in the project, including some potential problem or issue that may occur later in the project. Also, don't think about any family problems or issues, or anything not related to the project either. You need to keep your mind focused on the task at hand to do your best work in the least amount of time possible. Fourth, you need to take regular breaks in order to keep your mind sharp and focused. Virtually no one can work non-stop for hours at a time. This is why you need to take regular breaks here and there. Many experts suggest working 45 to 50 minutes of an hour and taking a 10-minute break each hour. Being able to take regular breaks is another key reason why you need to start each project on time or earlier and work diligently throughout the project so you can afford to take the breaks you need to keep your mind sharp and focused without completing your project later than expected. Fifth, think about the rewards you will receive and the feelings you will have once the project is completed. Rewards can include such things as money, recognition, and more time to spend with family or friends, and doing things you like to do in your free time. Feelings can include a sense of accomplishment and relief that you did great work for a project, and completed it on time, or even earlier than expected. Now you know the five secrets of getting things done promptly. Top 5 Ways to Improve Your Work Speed In this presentation, you will learn the top 5 ways to improve your work speed. First, turn the project or task into a game by seeing how fast you can complete the work while still doing it at a high level. Challenge yourself to see how fast you can do it. You can then reward yourself afterwards if you do it in a short amount of time, especially if it's faster than you've completed other projects. You can take some time off of work, go to some destination you wanted to visit, purchase an item you wanted, or a similar reward for completing high-quality work quickly. Second, take regular breaks so you can stay focused. Many people make the mistake of working non-stop in order to complete a project. Studies have shown our attention spans wander over time, and our work can suffer as a result. Most experts suggest spending 45 to 50 minutes of an hour working, and 10 to 15 minutes of an hour relaxing. This can help to improve the quality of your work and getting it done in the shortest amount of time possible. Third, stop all distractions you can keep from occurring and ignore those that you cannot. For instance, do not have your social media pages open while you are working on a project. This is a type of distraction you can stop. Similar distractions you can stop include turning off text and message alerts on your smartphone as well as the ring volume itself. As for the distractions you can't stop, such as family noises in another room or lawnmowers occurring in a neighbor's yard, do your best to focus on your screen and block them out. You might consider wearing earphones with no sound being played, or even cotton balls to block out noise in an effort to keep your attention on your work to complete the best quality work in the shortest time possible. Fourth. Get plenty of rest to be at your best. If you are tired and achy, you will lose focus and concentration more easily, slowing you down and detracting from the quality of your work. Fifth, focus on your best effort and efficiency, not being perfect in your work. Those who try to attain perfection will slow themselves down in order to achieve it, which will ruin your work speed and force you to have to rush through other aspects of a project detracting from your work quality. Now you know the top five ways to improve your work speed.